Today I'm replacing the battery in my car. Um, I'm going to go over uh, not only just replacing the battery but just some myths about batteries and uh, just some basic knowledge about car wiring in general. So first of all, my battery is about almost four years old and any battery that's over two years old you should start considering replacing it because usually the warranty on the battery is about two years is the minimum and then uh, three years is pretty common and some really expensive batteries get up to five years. Uh, this is a three year warranty battery and it's already approaching its fourth year so it's a good time to replace it ahead of time um, because I don't want to get uh, stuck in a parking lot um, or in a driveway. So how do I know how old my battery is? Well if you look at the side of batteries there's always a uh, date that it was uh, produced and right here they use a punch hole system so from the bottom so from one to nine and then zero on the zero portion it's there's a hole punch which means that uh, this battery was uh, manufactured in 2010 um, and on the top section it shows that uh, July after July August the August hole is punched means that it was August 2010 is when this battery was produced now it's 2014 approaching July uh, so it's about four years old battery and it's a good time to start replacing it so again, the battery is normally located uh, in a very easy access area uh, underneath the hood, usually on the left and right hand side. Mine is over at this corner right here. Um, as you've always heard, probably, or if you haven't heard of it, this is the first time you're hearing of it, a lot of times uh, when you replace your battery, you uh, always remove the negative terminal first, then the positive terminal, and when you install it, you install the positive terminal first, then the negative terminal, so you go reverse on it. I don't know all the reasons why they do it, but one of the reasons why I suspect that that's the procedure is because the chassis or the frame of your car is connected to the negative terminal. So, so if you look at my digital multimeter right here, I have it on ohms, and if I measure the negative terminal, to the frame of the car, you can see it's zero. Wait, you can see it's zero ohms. So what that means is that if I'm touching the negative terminal right now and I'm touching the car, it's the same spot. But if I'm touching the positive side of it and the chassis of the car then I complete a circuit. So if I'm le leaning on the car, I'm, I'm most likely going to be touching the frame of the car. Uh, you don't want to complete a circuit. Now, 12 volt battery isn't enough to kill it, a person because you need, uh, if you do a little bit of Google, you, you know that you need 10 milliamps of uh, current uh, to go through your heart to, to, to kill you. So the lowest resistance your body can be is in the thousand of ohm, like the, uh, a couple of k ohm resistance. So if you do the math, you can you can see that uh, 12 volt batteries uh, don't do anything to you. In fact, I can right now touch both leads right now, and as you can see, I'm touching the both positive and, and negative leads, and I'm I'm fine. So the second reason why you want to do the negative first is because since the chassis right here is ground and my ratchet right here here is conductive if I'm starting to mess with the uh, positive side first I might hit somewhere on the frame or the engine or whatnot and I'll complete a circuit then you will see a lot of sparks your car battery might look similar to this setup um, where the battery manufacture date is uh, right here on the top corner so this battery uh, was produced on 2013 June probably has two years warranty so that means that uh, I still got uh, another year or so before I need to start worrying about this battery um, again this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal 
So you can see a plus right there that says positive, and the red wire indicates that's positive. The black wire and uh, indicates that's negative. So here's the negative terminal. Again, I want to remove uh, the screw on the negative terminal first. And you'll see sparks, by the way. I don't know if I can reproduce some sparks. Yeah, do you see right there? You can see some sparks, but of course, it's completing a circuit. It won't harm you even if you touch the lead. It looks scary, but it doesn't harm you at all. So here's a positive terminal. Now let's release that side. So both sides are released. So in order to secure the battery so it doesn't move around, looking mechanism on the car. So for this one, it's the Buick Sentry, it's all the way at the bottom, and all you do is just release it. So here we go, now it's loose, and then I should be able to move the battery out of the way. For the Buick Sentry, um, they have a sway bar right here, and this is not a normal procedure for replacing a battery, but I have to remove the sway bar. So now the sway bar is out of the way, I can now pick up the battery. So it looks like I have to completely remove this out of the way. Now let's pick up the battery. go. So you always want to inspect the terminals. As you can see, both of these terminals are in good condition. There's no white powder or corrosion on them. Um, if there are, you want to use a baking soda and water mixture and clean the contacts because that way it will improve the conductivity of uh, the leads. Um, you can also apply uh, some terminal uh, grease on it uh, that you can buy at uh, your auto uh, store. For this scenario, of course, they're clean, they're good, uh, and there's no need for me to apply that on there. So here's a reverse cycle. Let's install this first. Next thing, let's uh, connect the positive terminal. After it's hand tight, I would normally just do uh, a decent tension. You don't want to overstrip it. And then now the negative side, of course, you're going to see sparks. And then finally, the sway bar.